Hi, I'm Alan Kelly. I'm the senior colorist here at Film Look Incorporated. And it's that time of year again. Time for Christmas movies. And uh, we've been doing quite a bit here. Uh, sometimes we're asked to do things out of the ordinary to kind of enhance the magic. Um, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, the client is pleased. So there's certain things that sometimes I have to do in order to kind of go beyond, above and beyond what is normally needed for us to do. In this case, I'm going to be doing a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of compositing, a little bit of effect work, um, just to see what we can do as far as making an existing sh scene uh, more manageable. So, here we have a scene, let me play it back here, it's of a tree in a shopping center, and it's kind of composited in there, it's not actually there, they, they composited uh, a, a, uh, a tree into this scene. And But in the very next shot, to make matters worse, uh, it's at night, and so we have these two women kind of, kind of maneuvering around the, the mall here, and they're going to basically kidnap this tree. Um, the problem is, of course, it's, it's not shot uh, at night, um, so what I'm going to have to do is make some adjustments here to make it look more nighttime. So let's start working on it here. Let's cool it down a bit. It can be saturated. Yes. Okay, there we go. That's a better look. Now, it looks more like dusk rather than nighttime, so we have to do some additional work. Uh, we'll put a little vignette on there to kind of give it more of a darker look around the, along the corners here. Oops, that's inside. Let's go on the outside. There we go. That's more like it. Let's bring it down a bit more. There we go. That's better. Now, it's looking better. The only problem is, of course, is the sky is a little bit uh, blue and it doesn't look convincing enough. So what I've done was I went ahead and did a luminous key on the sky and the, that sky portion only and just brought that area down. So now that's helpful. So, let's see, what else can we do? Well, we have to do something about that tree because it's supposed to be lit up. Believe it or not, it's supposed to be lit up. And so what we can do is I'm going to do a, a very tricky thing here where I'm going to create a, a mat here. Just kind of freehand it very quickly to kind of illustrate what I'm going to do. So I'm just kind of outline the tree a bit. And just go up to the tippy top and then bring it down here. And then, all right, so now we're going to take the brightest points of the tree that you see here and basically create a luminance key. So I'm going to trim that down so that we just see the very brightest tips of the tree, like so. Go back out, and now I can brighten up those tips only, as you see. And I can even add a little color to them, like a little, a little gold, a little red or whatever, but in this case let's stick with gold. Okay, find that. There we go. Alright, so it's getting better. Um, what else can we do? We've got to darken the windows. So let's darken the windows a bit. So again, we have a square shape around here. And match the size of it, shape of it, that sort of thing. Let's bury the feather, bring that down like so. Yeah, let's change the shape a bit more. Let's refine it. There we go. Okay. And now it's a little, make it a little bluer. Okay, and let's do the other side as well. There we go. So now it's looking a lot more nightlike. Um, the only thing is, I see two sconces there. Actually, there's three, but we'll just deal with two for now. Um, two sconces that would need some light. And so I've already pre-built it. It's, it's, it's ready to go. And now we have something that looks a little bit more night-like and uh, has a little bit more of a magical quality to it. So let's see how that intercuts with the next shot here. Bad. Um, 
I can do some additional work on this to make it a little less uh, bright, maybe on the whites. But uh, that's that's just adjustment um, to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.